All right, Team Jellyfish, here we go. This is the second video in this major triad dictionary playlist. So in this case, we're gonna do the ADG string sets. I'm referring to the open strings. The first video, which I'll link at the end, is the EAD. And we'll keep building this up, but I want you to go back, go back and watch that. So here's the first chord chart. What I want you to notice is I've got the one, three, five. This is a one, three, five triad. All these charts are linked in the description. Go get them, and I put chapters in all these. So Please share this, please like this. I want this to be to your like go-to little playlist where you go back and refresh your memory, okay? So I'll fill in more musical lessons. This is just the nuts and bolts. So root note is circled in red. The third is in blue and the fifth is in black. I'm gonna be very consistent with that in all of my videos. Now, why is that important? You wanna know where the root is so you can move the shape anywhere you want. And if you know the roots on the A string and that shape on that string set, you know what chord you are. That is power, knowledge is power, all right? Now, one more piece of information. These are on the other two charts. You can figure it out on your own, but here's what it is. The one to the three, that's a major third interval. See that? And then this, the third to the fifth, is a minor third interval. So major third stacked in a minor third is a major triad. Okay, let's go to the next chord chart real fast. See that? This is a 351. Same colors. Now, what do you notice about this one? Well, this time, the third is the lowest fundamental note, okay? But again, then the fifth. Now, I want you to know, you need to know where the root is at all times. You can figure out the rest. So the root in this case, in the three, five, one, is on the G string. Same colors. You see the intervals. You'll figure that out. Now, I did put, I did write in pink, this is a first inversion triad. Just meaning, it means the third is in the bass. The lowest fundamental note is the third, okay? Same colors. Third blue, fifth black, root and red, okay? Let's go to the last one, one of my favorites, a 513, where you got the five in the bass. You see a wrote in pink, second inversion, you got the intervals on there, burn those in your brain. The one in this case is on the D string. You notice how the root note changes from string to string in this string set, okay? And then you got the three down here. Now, I want you to notice one thing. I'm always saying connect the dots, and because I am here, Check this out, if I throw this finger down, that is a C major bar chord. So we're just removing the bar and we're just playing the triad. There's something you can do, strip it down, okay? Simple is beautiful. So let me just show you a really quick little activity. I will make a ton of supplemental videos. I already have so many on triads in here, but this is just to kind of give you a little way to go through it. So one, three, five, three, fifty, one, so the five, thirteen. Okay, and maybe mix it up. Back to the one, three, five, to the three, fifty, one. Okay, so again, burn in your brain. On the one, three, five, the root is on the A string, and the three, fifty, one, the root is on the G string, and in the five, thirteen, the root is on the D string. Okay, so you guys got this. Grab those charts. Like I said, keep coming back. I put chapters in here. It's easy to rewind it. Let's wrap this up real fast. Here we go. All right, Team Jellyfish, that was fun, right? So again, I want this to be your nuts and bolts dictionary of major triads and all four string sets. We've got two more string sets to do. I'll get those knocked out in the next couple days. Then we'll hit the minor ones. And then if you know all your major and minor triads and all four string sets, I can't even tell you, you're gonna like be unstoppable, all right? And then from there, it's just connecting the dots and all the other supplemental stuff. So I'm gonna link a playlist at the end here that's gonna have the first video I did a few days ago. Go back, watch that. There'll be another fun video in there. And we'll build out all the musical aspects of how to use these things in a musical context. In fact, you guys know, or if you're new, I have tons of videos on triads because they are the bones. They are the foundation to building the musical house. All right, you made it this far, drop jellyfish, drop your favorite sea creature. Just don't stop, keep going, please share this. You guys are amazing, let's keep this community growing. We're all trying to get better, I'm just like you. All right, peace.